Welcome to another Ham Radio Unlimited Quickie. In today's episode, we are going to walk through how you can create a server and a node for All Star. This is uh, important for some videos we have coming up because we're going to walk through how you can set up your own All Star and Echo Link Hotspot in your home using a Shari device. So you may have gotten here because we told you you had to have an account first, and uh, or you have your account and now you need to create your um, your server in your node so it's really a simple all uh, you see here i'm already signed in as myself and i'm going to go to the the portal link right here and you're going to see that i already have stuff set up in here we're going to set up a new server though so the first thing you need is you need to go to a server so a server can hold multiple nodes so first you need a server i already have a server here for my house but i'm going to go ahead and i am going to create a new server and we're going to proceed with server setup you have to give the server a name this is a requirement i'm just going to call it the test server because i am going to delete this when i'm done um its location is a test location oh actually i'll say it's frederick uh, here where i am the site we're just going to call it a test site and we'll just say it's affiliated with ham radio unlimited you don't need to change the default port unless you have some reason you need to change it and you also do not need a proxy IP. It's your call whether you want to put in the latitude and longitude. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this particular test here. So I'll click on submit. And that was that simple. So there's our test server. So now what we need to do is go to the portal and say node settings. And we're going to continue we want to request a new node about node requests okay so the server is test server and you would put in a description here of your test system or your test node this can be deleted All right, so we're going to say node. All right, so we got a new node number being requested now. So um, we'll get that deleted a little bit later, but let's look, let's look through some of the things about the, the node itself. So let's go look at one of my nodes here. And basically the node is a, is a six digit number that will assign you. Um, they'll also assign you a password and then the call sign and the frequency and if you have a tone on it plus there's also some questions over here the server that the node is on do you want to allow, allow like web access to it for voice and things like that so we can pretty much leave the defaults as they come up uh, and uh, you don't have to make any changes to anything anything like this over here the default is fine for what we're going to use it for because the node we're going to set up is just in our house you don't need to have all this additional telephone access and things like that as well so that's it. So this will be your node number and we set up the video and you're going to also need this password. And this password is self-assigned by them. You can change it. You're off, you know, obviously can change it, but it's assigned by them. All right. So it's that simple to set up a server and a node. Make sure you write those numbers down and we'll use that in the video when we walk through setting up the hotspot. I'm Mike Q3 Delta Oscar and I definitely would appreciate if you, you click the thumbs up down there, smash that button or thumbs down, whichever one. And if you click the subscribe button and then click the bell next to it so you get notified when we put out new releases. 73 everyone, have a great night.